Hi guys, I am continuing my chipping and painting video tutorials with the second video in which I am going to deal with such technique as applying acrylic filters. This is a pretty easy technique and it gives an opportunity to achieve a pretty interesting result. Check the different pieces of this detail. This part of the detail is yet a bare one. Uh, look how the chip we've made on it in the previous video stands out. Uh, on this piece of the part I have already applied a filter. Um, you can notice how the chipping fades away a bit, starting to look much more realistic. For creating acrylic filters, I'm using the Vallejo model color acrylic paints. Don't want to sound like an advertisement, but I highly recommend exactly these paints uh, due to the fact that their structure is, um, so to say, very soft and the layer they create uh, has a premium quality adhesive or adhesiveness. And uh, this is exactly what is required to apply a good soaking in filter. I'll be using uh, for this model of the Corporate Alliance Droid Tank uh, three different shades to create the filter. The first one of them is um, an orange shade which will depict uh, the small dust particles from the surroundings of the tank. Uh, I am planning to create a battle on Geonosis di diorama. Uh, so, I have uh, some kind of a uh, Martian dust, an orange looking, and here it is. I've made it with mixing four different uh, paint colors. They are the sand yellow, also the red, uh, one second, where it is, the Ten yellow and finally the light orange. It's somewhere missing on the mess of my table. Besides of that, I'm using some uh, greenish brown number eight seven nine for the lighter tone of the vehicle standing out and also a mix I've used uh, as a darker tone of my vehicle it is also a mix of four different colors mm, in almost safe proportions about uh, 0.25 percent per each one I used flat earth, green brown again, uh, huh. here they are, the German camouflage pale brown, and the medium flesh tone.
So, what I am trying to intend is uh, some kind decoloration on the tongue's hull, um, the distortion of the tones on it, uh, a kind of a dusty layer. All of that is achievable with this pretty simple technique. All we are doing is taking a brush, uh, then I need to um, achieve a tone of the filter itself. You don't actually need to mix uh, a lot of paint for the filter at once, due to the fact that the different difference you gain uh, with different small amount of mixed paints only uh, gives more realism to the resulting detail. So uh, what I am doing is mixing at first uh, the tone required. I am taking some of the tone which depicts the Geonosian dust now mixing it with a bit of light green brown some darker tone also added here and well too dark for my taste making it lighter again with the orange journals and dust it's um, pretty much a free freestyle technique give yourself artistic lessons when using it guys now I need just to get the required consistency of the paint must be almost water just a little bit of paint in it uh, I'd say 80% of water and only 20% the actual paint will give you the desired effect now I am applying this filter on the model surface you can see that I am almost covering all the chips invisible that's okay no worries about that no need to be accurate with your brush strikes just apply it where it goes now uh, what I'm doing is taking more water and thinning paint on the hull already I'm making some areas of the surface more uh, so to say decolorized some parts of the surface Are less covered with the filter right as you can see you have plenty of freedom on how much, uh, where, how and exactly which tone of the filter you're applying. Sorry guys, I have to answer the phone. Okay, sorry guys. 
Uh, so, what's really cool about this technique is that it almost absolutely cannot ruin the model at any point of applying the filter. Uh, if you apply it too much, you just thin this area with water and move the filter with your brush away to the area which is currently lacking its layer of filter after some time uh, when everything dries and before you apply a flat coat a bit amount of the filter applied um, ready fully dried and becoming kind of a dust will just fall away from the model so it actually does uh, add a bit realism how it will further look so it is a wonderful technique which doesn't require much of the experience in using it everything is pretty easy It also can be used not only for um, making some aspects of the painting like the chipping or something like that stand down but also to change the overall tone of the vehicle for example, if you find the color applied to dark, you can apply, for example, a white or light gray filter or something like that. If, on the contrary, you find your model too light, then you can help the wash, which usually darkens the tone of the model with also some dark filter you got a more greener tone than brownish it's also easily changeable with the filter applied however you must also always remember that Besides of the filter, you will face some other aspects of painting, like washing or applying the finishing coat of liquors that will change the tone for example as I've said uh, the washes do make the tones darker along with the clear coat of a pledge future or any other type of brilliant liquor along with the fact that the flat liquor does make the tone of the vehicle lighter and a bit more whitish well 
this is the first part of my so to say after prime code painting I will continue this series of video tutorials with applying different washes on the vehicle's hull. See you guys!